welcome back into Peden Stadium. My name is Abby Carnevale and I'm the host of the Bobcats Sports Showcase. Alongside me is Ohio football reporter Nathan Wiseman. We're here to talk a little bit about what you can expect for Ohio football. Now I saw you at the matchup on Saturday against Marshall and the Ohio football won the bell back from the thundering herd. So what did you take away from the matchup? Well yeah, Abby, last Saturday was an absolute defensive battle. You know, the Cats, they struggled a little bit containing Devin Johnson from making big plays, but overall they shut down Marshall's passing game led by Michael Birdsong. Ohio held the herd to a season low 263 yards of total offense. Nate Carpenter played extremely dominant. He said he was looking forward to this game all year and he showed up big time. Nate recovered a fumble late in the third and picked off Birdsong late in the game, which earned him the Mac East Defensive Player of the Week. And offensively for the Cats, Sebastian Smith showed up big time as well. 86 receiving yards for that guy, while Daz Patterson and A.J. Ouellette, they also put on solid performances on the rushing attack. Okay, so in the duration of the game, though, we lost our two main quarterbacks. So we saw a new face on the field. Do you think he'll be in the game this weekend, and what was it all about that? Well, yeah, this next man up philosophy is no stranger for Ohio. Like you said, Darius Vick went out early in the game with an elbow injury, so J.D. Sprague stepped into that role, and he played the majority of the game until late in the fourth quarter when he was injured on Ohio's final drive after a late hit. So third stringer Greg Windham came in and finished out that final drive. Now, J.D., he will likely be out for two to three weeks while his shoulder heals, and all indications are that Darius Vick will start on Saturday, but expect Wyndham to at least play the entire second half, if not more. So you mentioned this Saturday, and next up for the Bobcats is the Southeastern Louisiana Lions. Now, this is an FCS team, but Frank Solich knows to take them seriously, so what, how is he approaching things? Well, yeah, like you said, Coach Solich and the Bobcats, they're no stranger to FCS teams at all. And this Lions team, they're extremely physical, so the Cats can't be looking past them on Saturday. They're 2-0 right now, and their defense is absolutely phenomenal. They picked off opposing quarterbacks seven times and forced seven fumbles. Lions run the option and only have 83 yards through the air this season. That's phenomenal. So freshman running back Julius Maracklin and senior Xavier Robinson, they're both lethal running backs, and they lead the team with a rushing attack. So watch out for both of those guys on Saturday. Okay, so you've told us what to look out for. I'm excited for the game. So I put you on the spot last week. I'm going to do it again this week. What do you think is going to happen? Well, if the Bobcats can contain the Lions' rushing attack, they're going to be just fine. Like I said earlier, I think Greg Wyndham's going to play the majority of this game, but with so much experience behind him, guys like A.J. Ouellette, Daz Patterson, Sebastian Smith, he's not going to be expected to do too much, and they're going to be just fine. So I think Ohio is going to roll on to a 31-10 to victory on Saturday. Well, that sounds great. I sure am excited to see it. I hope you guys are too. The game's at Eden Stadium at 2 p.m. on Saturday, so come here. For coverage up until game time, you can follow us on Twitter at WOUD Sports or at Bobcat Showcase. While you're at it, give us a like on Facebook. We have tons to offer. For Nathan Wiseman, my name is Abby Carnevale, and I'm the host of the Bobcat Sports Showcase, reminding you to fight for the green and white.